Can't catch a break, man. I don't know what to do after this one, man. I'm done buying dogs. Like, damn, man. I damn near want to quit everything and just... I can't believe he's gone, man, for real. Bentley's gone, mama. Bentley man I don't know why he suffered so much man it was it was literally so random it was a Sunday morning man he didn't even go outside or nothing he was he was taking a nap he was sleeping and I wake uh, we're all eating and he was sleeping he was taking a nap and uh, man he starts I start hearing this banging right I start hearing this uh this little noise and it, I, I turn around and he's seizing like he's having a seizure you know when a dog's having a seizure you know it's uncontrollable they start spazzing out all that and then uh his mouth started foaming and then five minutes later maybe like 20 minutes later he bounced back from that seizure you know he he survived it you know he was all good well he wasn't all good he was out of it i ain't gonna lie and then uh he was out of it but then 20 minutes later, man, he uh he had more seizures, man. Back to back to back to back. He was not catching a break. And man, I started getting scared, man. I I rushed to that emergency vet, but they're like 20 minutes away. But he was still alive at the time when I was going. But man, he had another seizure once I got there. And uh he did not survive that one, man. His little heart stopped. But I kind of seen it coming, man. Like, he had like eight seizures back to back to back to back. His little heart was not getting a, you know, he wasn't catching a break, man. You know, it was way too much on him. He was out of it, man. I seen it in his face. I don't even think he could recognize me. Cause I looked into it when a dog seizes, you know, has seizures for more than five minutes. You know, there's some brain damage going on there because, you know, there's no oxygen going to his brain. <clears throat> My little boy suffered. But, uh, I don't know how we're gonna bounce back from this one, man. I'm not buying any more dogs. I'm not buying another stud. I'm not doing any of that, man. I'm I'm done. I'm really done. I'm speechless. I, I don't even know what to record, man. Like my whole life has gone downhill this last month. Well, this month, like everything's just been like uh, I'm lost for words, man. I'm confused. I don't know why this stuff happens. No, I'm I'm trying to be positive about it, you know. I know he's in a better place now. You know, he was suffering. Now he's not suffering, so you know, he's resting at peace. You know, rest in peace, my little Bentley, man. He's with Lulu now and with Rico. Rico was one he was gonna be my first stud, but he passed away too. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know I don't know what's going on. I don't know who put voodoo on me or some ojo. Like, man, I don't know what is going on. Like, I'm for real speechless. Like, man, I feel like I'm just having a collection of these damn uh, ashes, man. I can't believe you passed away, man. died the past week too March has been horrible man why are you doing me like this God I 
I've been so demotivated. I don't, I really don't want to record videos. Like, I feel like quitting YouTube and quitting everything. I feel like I'm so demotivated, man. I'm demotivated for real. But, uh, you know, I got people trying to tell me to keep going, but, like, for what? Like, I, I don't know. I don't see the shine at the end of the tunnel. But, uh, man, why? I don't know why. I had big plans for him, man. He was going to be the next big thing, you know. I'm grateful for everything he did for me. He got me exposure. You know, a lot of people knew me because of him. You know, Bentley was a, a superstar for real. He was a he was amazing, man. He was small. He had crazy DNA. He was gonna be a super stud, super stud for sure. You know, I had big plans for him. I had some. I had a lot of lock-ins on him. Now I gotta work stuff out with the with the people that locked him in. Man. I'm really lost for words, man, but that, I just wanted to give y'all a little update. It's been a week. <clears throat> it's been a rough week, but uh, I'm gonna try to get stuff going again, but I don't, I don't know what to record, man. Like, obviously I got stuff to record, but like, I'm so demotivated, man. Like, I just lost my super stud, my best friend. You know what I'm saying? My little Bentley. We used to thug it out every day. We used to ride in the car, go make plays, you know, whenever I was serving seafood. Because, you know, I sell seafood boil. He would always go deliver the food with me. Like, man, I took him everywhere, man. I, when I went to the grocery store, I took him with me. When I went to the mall, I took him with me. You know, anytime I just left the house, he always rode in the car with me, you know. We was always just thugging together. Uh, rest in peace, my little boy, man. But that's all I got to say. Uh, yeah, man. <clears throat> that's it for now. Taught me the beat.